This video is going over priority standard 6.3, which is called solving rate problems. So we're doing some rate problems and we're also introducing percentages in this. Our objective or our learning target today is I can choose how to use unit rates to solve problems. We're gonna go to activity one, the fastest of all. So we got some animals and we're gonna look at how far they run in a certain amount of time. Activity one, wild animals from around the world were measured to see how far they could run in one minute. Compare three of the animals to see how their distance run, distance run compares. Complete the table above and answer the questions. Um, use the information that one inch equals 2.54 centimeters, one meter equals 100 centimeters, and 12 inches equals one foot. So that will be helpful. So the table here is going to help us answer some questions. How far did each animal run in centimeters? So let's start with the kangaroo. So if I have the kangaroo, I'm going to put a ratio of meters to centimeters. And I am going to use this ratio. There's one meter and 100 centimeters. So 100 centimeters equals one meter. So if I have 1,700 or sorry, 1,073 meters, I know 1 times 1,073 is 1,073. So I'm going to multiply 100 times 1,073, 1,073. So one thing when we're multiplying by 100, we just move the decimal to the right two times. So I'm going to write the same number and think of the decimal being here, and I move it to the right one two times because there's two zeros in 100. So I just add two zeros really to that number. So it's this many, 107,300 centimeters. So the kangaroo in one minute went 107,300 centimeters. Now I'm gonna look at the hair. The hair the hair's distance is given in inches, and we want to convert the inches to centimeters. So I'm going to use this ratio or rate. So I'm going to say inches and centimeters. So if I know one inch is 2.54 centimeters, I'm going to see how much um, 49,632 inches is. So I know one times 49,000. 632 is that number. So I'm going to multiply 2.54 times 49,600, sorry, 49,632. And that will give me the number of inches. For this one, um, you can use a calculator if you would like. Um, or you could pause here and do it on your own, which would be great because your brain is your calculator. And so you're multiplying 2.54 times 49,632. And what you should get is one big boy number, 100. Okay, so we have 126,065.28. So the 0.28 isn't very much, but we're still gonna write the full answer. So for the hair, this is 126,000. 65.28 centimeters. So, so far the hare has gone farther than the kangaroo. So it looks like the hare is running faster in centimeters. Now we're gonna look at the coyote. So the coyote is given in feet. So there's a couple steps for this one. So we know the ratio of inches to feet, okay? So what I'm first gonna do, if I know there's 12 inches in a foot, I'm gonna see how many inches this is for first before I convert it to centimeters. So I'm gonna do 3,773 times 12 because that will give me the number of inches and then I can convert the inches to centimeters. So I'm gonna do 3,773 times 12 and that gives me 45,276. So that's how many inches it is. So I'm gonna use that to use the one inch to centimeters. So inches to centimeters, we know the ratio is one to 2.54, and we're gonna use that to convert our 45,276 inches. 
So I know 1 times 45,276 is 45,276. So I'm multiplying this side by 45,276. I'm just multiplying 2.54 times 45,276. to See how many centimeters, because this is a big, a big number. And what you should get is 115,001.04. So the coyote runs 115,001.04 centimeters in one minute. So now that they're all the same unit, we can place the rankings, say which one would be first, second, and third. So the one that went the farthest is going to be first, meaning like the fastest. So apparently the hare got first place in, in this race. Who knows if this is accurate. And then second place, the one that went the next biggest distance, 115,000 is bigger than 107,000. So then we have the coyote. And then in third place, we would have the kangaroo, which the kangaroo part makes sense at least. Okay, so we can use tables. Once we have a rate to go off of, then we can convert different units into different units of measure and then compare. So that's kind of fun. Robin Gapeski to the office, please. Okay, activity two is coins. So this is where we're going to introduce percents. So the word percent means for each 100. The symbol for percent is what you know. So you've probably seen this percentage sign. But when we say... 25%, that means 25 out of 100, or 25 out of each 100. For example, a quarter, so a quarter is 25 cents, as we know, um, is worth 25 cents, and a dollar is worth 100 cents. We can say that a quarter is worth 25% of a dollar. So if I had a quarter, I would say this is 25% of a dollar, and then if I had a dollar, that would be 100% of a dollar, because it's 100 out of 100 cents that make a dollar. So we're going to practice some of this with activity two. So it's kind of a different um, idea than the activity one. So complete the table to show the value of these U.S. coins. So the first one is a penny. And it says in cents. So one cent. A nickel right here is five cents. And pause this. Try to do this on your own. See if you can know the values. You'd be surprised how many students do not know the values of coins. A dime, which is this one is 10 cents. A quarter is 25 cents. A half dollar is 50 cents. And a dollar is 100 cents. These are all different coins that are represent this value. Okay, the value of a quarter is 25% of the value of a dollar because there are 25 cents for every 100 cents. So question two says write the name of the coin that matches each expression. Which coin is 25% of a dollar? Well, we know 25 cents is 25 out of 100. So this uh, 25 cents would be 25% of a dollar. So I'm going to say a quarter. 5% of a dollar. So we know a nickel is 5 cents, which is 5 out of 100, or 5% of a dollar. 1% of a dollar would be 1 cent, which is a penny. 100% of a dollar would be a whole dollar, 100 cents. So we'd say a dollar coin. 10% of a dollar is 10 cents of a dollar, or 10 cents out of 100, which is a dime. 50% of a dollar would be 50 cents, or um, a half dollar, dollar coin. Question three, the value of six dimes is what percent of the value of a dollar? So try to do this part on your own. If you have six dimes, what percent is this? So I know six dimes, each dime is 10 cents. So we're just doing six times 10, which is 60 cents. And 60 cents is 60% of a dollar. Four, the value of six quarters is what percent of the value of a dollar? So six quarters, I know each quarter is 25 cents. So I'm gonna do six times 25 cents which would give me 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150. That would be 150 cents, which is 150% of a dollar. OK, 
Okay, so that's the idea with coins and percents. It can get much trickier than that. So make sure you're understanding and then try the cooldown. See if you can answer the questions about the cooldown. Um, I'm going to help you start on the number line of the cooldown and then you can maybe answer more questions about it. So you could do this all on your own or you could watch the video to help you at least with the first part. So value of coins, if we have 25%, um, percent, how I would write that as a decimal would be 0 0.25, $0.25. 50% would be $0.50. 75% would be 0 0.75. 100% is 1. 125% is 1 1.25. And 150% is 1.50. So that's what you're going to do, and it might help you answer some of the questions. Thanks for watching.